Okay, it's starting up. It doesn't say live. There it goes. Hi, everybody. My name is Margaret, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In this video, I am going to be walking you through a merch, make merch tutorial, and there are some really cool new features that I can't wait to share with you guys, um, some things that they're rolling out. Um, but first, let me talk to you a little bit about my background with uh, merch by Amazon, with print on demand, because if you're anything like me, you would have never thought this was something that you could do. I started using Merch by Amazon in January of 2016, or that's when I made my first sale. So in January, it'll be three years, which is kind of amazing. Um, and it's been something that has been a complete game changer for our family. I started, I figured out how to, to start making shirts. I am, again, not a designer, um, which is why I love Make Merch because it makes it super duper easy for me. Um, but it's been something that we've been able to build and grow over the last couple of years. And it's something that I'm going to be kicking into higher gear coming up in this next year because we've moved, we've got new taxes that we have to deal with. And so that's something that um, we're hoping to get We'll talk more about goals in that in that realm in a different video. But um, I am a you know my background. I am a, a ex teacher. I'm a stay at home homeschooling mom, um, and I don't have a whole lot of time on my hands to really dive deep into some of the other um, design type programs, which is another reason that I just love make merch. Um, and I am live, so I have my chat hidden for just a second. But I want to say hey. Um, hi, Glenn, Swamp Picker. Hi, Madeline. I'm going to cover up my chat for a second because I get really distracted, but I'm going to come back to it in just a minute. So um, if you are, you know, full time working and you're trying to bring in extra income, uh, I I don't I hate to use the word preach, but I preach it at my stay at home homeschooling moms like this is something you can do to bring in extra income. I was just having a conversation yesterday with another homeschooling mom who has started, you know, tutoring, you know, having to pay for tutoring with her kid and that's a whole nother you know piece you know that, that of money going out so it's a way that you can definitely bring in some good extra income uh, mine ranges anywhere from I mean when I first started out just like seven bucks with my first payout but my my highest payout was nearly two thousand dollars in one month so it is definitely something that's doable um, and then while for example we've been moving and and I haven't been able to be as active with my Merch by Amazon account, my payouts have still been pretty good between, you know, six and eight hundred dollars a month. This month it might be a little down. I'll have to go check it. But um, but it's still something that, you know, that's a huge, that's a good car payment. That's t tutoring for the kids. That's, you know, all kinds of, you know, fill in your blank of what that could be for you. Okay. So, and if you've been following my journey, you know that a while back I did start teaching myself Adobe Illustrator. But that was before I started homeschooling my kids. I don't have time right now to really mess around with, with that intensive design program stuff. So Make Merch has been a lifesaver for me. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over. Uh, hi, Flippin Hustler. Hi, Soccer Mimi. RG, RBGG. Hello, hello. Um, and Tawny. Oh, I don't know what that means, but okay. So I'm going to switch it over and I'm going to talk to you real quick before I, um, before I start the tutorial, I want to just lay it all out for you. Um, yeah. And if you're waiting on your Amazon one, definitely still do Printful. You know, I, I've been making not as much. I mean, Amazon is definitely where the big money is. Um, but I do know some friends that have been making more with Printful and Etsy than they have with with Amazon. So if you are, or if you're interested, I've got links down below for 40 free listings on Etsy, Printful sign up. Um, I have a graphic stock sign up. I have definitely my make merch dot sign up down there. Okay, but here we go. I have the pro membership because I am making that amount of money. You know where uh, where I would I could justify it, right? So if you're just starting out and you're like, oh, I'm not a designer. You know, 19.99 for setting it up is is four shirts a month. If you sell four shirts, you've paid for it. Okay. And then as it grows, definitely it's worth the other, um, levels. So, but that's, you know, that's what that is. And then hello, hello in the chat. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to get on, stay on focus. Cause if you know me, I get, 
I go off. Um, but here, there are some sites that, on Facebook that you should definitely go check out. Also, if you're using Make Merch or thinking about it, go on and there is a Make Merch uh, Facebook users group. And Dan actually just did a video with some of the new pro templates and layouts and stuff like that um, today. So go on there and then anytime you hit a hiccup or whatever, everybody there is super helpful. Um, also, I have a Facebook page, Texas Gal Treasures, um, that I post when I go, go live, when I do new videos. And then there's two Facebook pages for merch. It's not just merch, but print on demand stuff. Merch University, that's the one that um, Joe Clay started. And then Merch Minds, that one is Yong and Glenn Zubia's podcast, their Facebook. So there's that. Um, yeah, Teespring, for sure. I, have, I'm on, I haven't checked my Teespring lately. Ah, no peeking. No fair peeking. I started something. I started something and play. I was playing around with it. So let me see if I can start over. Start over. I was playing around with some of the new features. Okay. Uh, hello, hello. Okay. So let me go ahead. And this is on the pro. I'm showing you. This is the template for. Actually, let me just jump back so you can see. Because if not, this this will be like, wait, what? What are you doing? So I'll make merch. Come on now. Let me go back because it's not being cooperative. Here we go. Do, 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 do. All right. So if you are using Make Merch, when you sign in, you can, and you can go in and play with it if you want to try it out. It won't let you download your designs um, until you sign in, but you can definitely go in and play with it. Um, so when you go on, there's a few different templates to use. You know, art, uploading art. They have pop socket templates. Um, there are lifestyle picks, so if you want to have some a cool your shirt and it's on a lizard man or whatever um, to use on another platform, that's there as well. My favorite to go down to these are the pro templates down at the bottom um, are this one because it gives you it all. You can you know there's art, you can upload an image, you can add text, you can add filters, all kinds of stuff. So this is the one I generally use. This might go to you. So you come on here. And it takes just a second to load up. But it, again, this is, I mean, it's been a lifesaver for me because I can come on, I can design stuff really quickly and get it put up because I don't have a whole lot of time to get in. I mean, like I said, I was teaching myself Illustrator, but honestly, I haven't touched it in, I can't tell you how long, months, maybe a year. I don't know. All right, so first thing I do since I'm not uploading any images is you'll come over here. Let me see, make sure you can see what I'm doing over here. Yeah, where it says upload an image, none are uh, in front of art. And so I'm clicking none right here. So it takes that away. So I have a blank canvas to work with. Hi, hi, hello in the chat. Thanks for coming. And if you're watching later and you're, you're wanting to catch me live or you're wanting to um, make sure you're notified when I put out a video, hit the subscribe button and the little bell. And oh, before I forget, go over there and hit the thumbs up, everybody. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so... Um, when you first start out, you know, I'm just going to run through all of the, the elements real quick and then we'll design a shirt. How about that? Um, so this is the text fill color, like the inside of the text. The next thing is the outline color. Here is where you can start putting your first line in. Hey guys, that's what I'm going to write. Um, and that's at the very top of the template. So if you don't like it there, you can use these controls to move it around. You can scooch it down. Oh, I didn't need that. Thank you. Um, you can move it left to right. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. If you think, oh, I like this font, but those letters are so close together, you know, you can scooch them apart. There's this these little A, B bits down here. Um, you can also arc them, you know, in different ways, make, make them curve. You can outline them. Of course, I didn't choose a different color for the outline. That would help. Um, so there's lots of different things here that you can do and you can apply to all if you want all your fonts to look exactly the same. But if then maybe you're like, oh my gosh, where do I write the next line? Well here, add more text lines from me. And then um, from there you can continue adding as many as you like. And then if you want to rotate like, I need it to be sideways, you can rotate it using these tools over here. So there's that. Okay, awesome, fun. I'm trying to see why my outline didn't show up. Maybe it did, but it's too tiny. Oh yeah, so my outline is tiny, but I can make it bigger by clicky, clicky, clicking it. See, like so. Can you, you can't see my mouse though. Oh well, yeah, 
<laughs> Sorry about that. I got to figure that out. Okay, so there's that. Hey guys, I'm going to take that out because I, I kind of played around with this so I know where I'm going to go with my um, topic today. I was playing with this a little bit yesterday and I'm going to use this C. I'm going to come up and take this off. Because we're working with Halloween, um, I'm going to create a shirt that's that reads rather C is for carnage. Uh, <laughs> I went ahead and got started with this early because sometimes when I try to figure out something on the fly, things go sideways in the video. If you've if you've watched any of them, while they're fun, they can be a little long. <laughs> so okay, let's start with this. Um, Halloween is all year round for some of us, and so I definitely want to use. Um, C is for carnage. One, you know, I'll have the draw for Halloween. I've got people that are into the macabre all the time and people that like American Sign Language. You know, it's all a win-win, right? So, C is for... Now, I'm looking at my fonts and I'm noticing that it did not apply to all. So let me deselect it and select it again and see. Oh, okay, apply all to all. Okay, this is what I did not do. So I want to apply the outline. I want to apply, so that's just applying the font, but I want to make sure I apply the same like heaviness on the outline. Oh yeah, totally, Madeline. This, I mean, my and my my children like playing with this too. So they come in here, you know, we're we're doing penguins right now um, in school, our homeschool. And so this is something that they can come as one of their like art projects, they can come and create a penguin shirt that they could upload or a penguin pop socket. And who doesn't love penguins, right? Okay, so I need to scoot my C. Oh, that's moving my C. I need to move my is for over. I'm going to scoot that. I'm going to kind of scoot it down. I need to figure out how, how to... You know what? I'm going to put C is up here. So it's really, like, really user-friendly. So if you're not a, you know, designer or if using Illustrator is very intimidating for you this is this is definitely the way to go uh, oh good thank you so much c is four and then i'm going to scoot that over now what i'm noticing is that my my letters for is and for are really close together so i'm going to scoot those apart a teeny bit so that it's got a little space in there and now is there a spacing oh that's too far okay i don't want that Go back. Can we go back? Yes, we can. Do, do, do. I'm just going to do it by hand. I'll eyeball it. It's fine. C is four. And I want to kind of turn four a little bit because right now it's really straight. So I'm going to turn it just a teen to maybe scooch it up a bit. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Yeah, I, you know, I got to do. Um, what was that? I was talking to somebody yesterday. I just posted it like, do all the things. Yeah, I. I don't, I don't have downtime. <laughs> okay, so I'll make that a little bigger. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it, you know, relevant for, I'm going to do C is for, oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now I'm like, oh, wait, am I going to spell carnage correct? <laughs> this is not a word I spell all the time, carnage. And then I'm going to drop it down. So I'm going to bring it down over here. Hmm, is it going to fit like I want? So, I'm going to scoochie it. Maybe I'm going to turn it a little bit. No, nope, wrong way. I'm going to turn it that. That's too much. Boop, boop, boop. I want my letters to be closer, not that close. A little further. That was kind of a neat effect, though, with them overlapping. Um, scoochie over a little bit more. So, I'm trying to kind of... I don't know. We'll see how it looks when I'm done with it. Again, um, this is this is to, uh, honestly this is more in depth than I normally do. Um, I don't do a whole lot of. I mean, most of the ones I do are pretty pretty simple. But I thought you know I wanted to show and, and highlight some of the really cool features. Um, oh dear. Um, well, I think Meg, Megan, let me know if you have. Um, do you have any shirts on any other sites? Like um, I was telling my friend yesterday, you know, I said don't apply to merch yet. Um, go over there 
and um, go to Etsy, go to Printful, use those links down below because you can get those 40 free listings. Um, and then at least fill up the first page, you know, fill, get those 12 shirts up on your Etsy page so that when you go to merch, and then I think in the application they ask if you have a website, if you're a designer, then you can say, oh yeah, here's my, my Etsy page. And then I have a whole series of videos on how to set up the Printful Etsy integration. Um, so definitely, um, yeah, make sure, make sure that you've got, where, that it's not just one up there. I don't know. I, I don't know what you've got. Okay, can I make the font creepier? I can, but let me go ahead and get to a, a couple of things. We'll come back to the font in a second. So then down here, um, if you didn't already know, like I did, let's say my kids are wanting to make a penguin shirt. Well, they would come in here and type in the keywords. And if you're using this, um, if you are using this, then you pretty much know that you can use everything here. These are all okay to use. The only thing I'm not 100% about is this penguin is the Linux penguin. And I don't know if Linux is open source or if that, I mean, so everything you're going to have to kind of like, okay, well, I think that's okay, but I might find out first. But if you didn't know, I mean, it might not be the Linux penguin. It looks similar. Anyway, so anyway, my guys could come in here and find, you know, a penguin because we're oh look this is perfect with the emperor penguins and the baby and all of that good stuff now my C is gone where did it go it probably thought I should make sure I know what I'm doing okay oh well then I'm not sure I guess there's other factors they're looking into um I, I, ha I have to go back and look at it for sure yeah um, okay, so let's go down here. So if I wanted to change the position of the big, the artwork that I popped in there, that big C, um, I can use these down here to make it smaller or bigger. You know, let's say I want to make this smaller so that I can get Carnage to look right on there or whatever. Um, but I kind of like that. I think it looks okay. Uh-oh, it gives me a pop-up if I make it too big. So it just gave me the pop-up that says, no, -uh, that's too big. <laughs> so there's this or if I want to turn it you know like I want my C to look like that or so okay now it doesn't look right something happened let me make it down a little bit I'm gonna push it to the to the limit till it gives me the pop-up again there it is pop up okay down one okie dokie no gosh what did I do all right that's fine so I'm looking uh, in the chat Okay, so, and but I think still, even if you aren't in merch, you know, still go and, and put your designs across other sites and just keep trying. Um, so now, the next thing you can do is add a filter to your art. Um, and these, this could be just a simple color, or you can come along and add um, other filters like these. And the reason I wanted, there are so many new ones on here. I was having so much fun playing around with this yesterday. Um, but there are some really spooky ones. So I thought I would come and do like this really spooky, like blue skull one. Um, <laughs> because it's creepy Halloween. And then next, there are vintage effects that you can apply. And this will apply, I think, to the font as well. Yeah, it'll apply to the whole thing. And so this one looks like a script, like it's a sp spooky writing. Or you could do, I mean, there's, I probably wouldn't do wood grain because that's not super spooky. I guess it's like haunted house spooky maybe. Um, crackly. Uh, so there's all of that. The crackly is kind of spooky. I'm going to go with the writing though, the creepy writing. Um, so the next thing I want to do is come up and I'm going to probably change, maybe let's take a look at, at the font and then the color of the words because. Now, here, let me see if I can figure this out. There's a way, no, I don't want to mess with that, to change like, if you know the like colors on here, I, oh, there is a way because I remember messing with this. Okay, um, okay, I'm not gonna mess with that just yet. <laughs> okay, so I want to fill my text color. That's the outline. This is the fill, and there is a way. And I know they. T I asked before, and they told me, and I've forgotten. There's a way to select the color. You know what I mean? Like copy select a color. And I can't think of how to do it right now. 
So I should have figured that out first. But I can get close, you know. I can kind of mess around with this and get close to the right color. That's close-ish. Let's make it a little lighter. So, but there is a way that you can go and select a color so it matches exactly if you, and of course, now I can't remember. <laughs> if somebody in the Make Merch team is in the chat, <laughs> give me a call out. Um, this is Make Merch. Uh, it's definitely something I, I love, love, love using. Okay, so here we go. C is for Carnage. You could change, I mean, you could keep it the same re on the fonts or the colors if you want. Um, let's see if we want to change to a different font. So when you do that, you can select apply to all, or maybe you just want C is for to look really, you know, elementary school-ish, you know? So maybe I want to have that all the same. Where's the color? I know I can do apply all to color. There it is. Um, but let's say I want to keep those okay and I want to make just carnage like freaky looking or something like that. You know, I don't think I like the color matching it though, honestly. I may have to change that. So maybe I want the, the beginning part to look like, you know, innocent and then the carnage part to look kind of creepy. Let's change that color. How about that? Nope, that didn't. Oh, I see why. Okay. C is for carnage like so and tell me if I spell carnage right I guess it looks you know when you spell something and it doesn't look right to you I'm gonna have to go back and fix carnage in just a second because what color do we want to make that hmm <sighs> I can't decide <laughs> that's the part I didn't play with too much uh, I don't know I want it to be kind of contrasting a little bit. Maybe I'll stick with the yellow. Okay. So I've got these things set up. And this is, you know, okay. But honestly, this is something that I would probably upload. I know there, you know, maybe people would not. But you never know. You'd be surprised at what sells <laughs> on merch. So, all right. Scoochie, scoochie, scoochie. Like so. Let me scoot four over a teeny bit. Um, like so. Another really cool feature that I like is that you can see what it's going to look like on different, you think, oh, red would probably be good, huh, wouldn't it? It is carnage, after all. <laughs> Let's try it. There we go. Oh, we need a red carnage. But now the yellow looks out of place. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this fill color here to make sure it's the right one and come fill it in the top one up here B. and then is it applying it to all let's there we go hmm what do you think do we like let's go with it for now how about that <laughs> maybe the carnage should be like maybe the C is four should match the blue and then carnage could just be like on its own in red <laughs> it feels funny saying I don't know carnage <laughs> I knew a guy in high school who was super into death metal. I never really got into that. Surprise. I was into other stuff, though. I like the punk rock. There. Okay. How's that? How's that look? Eh, it's okay. <laughs> Let's go with it for now. So, next thing you want to do, once you got your perfect shirt and you're ready to go, is and, and another feature I didn't share was this grid, if you're really like particular about spacing and where things go symmetrically, which sometimes I can be, but lots of different cool effects. Um, so the next thing you can do is come down and see like, how's it gonna look on a black shirt? Uh, how's it gonna look on a red shirt? Hmm, how, how about a white shirt, you know? So there's lots of different, you know, you can come check it out. Okay, so here's, the ne here's something that's new. And right now, from what I understand, this is just on the pro template, but I think they're gonna be rolling this out for the other ones, is that, oh, why is it not showing up now? Uh-oh, did I not select the pro template? Oh, there it is, there it is, it's down there. Okay, can you guys see that? I wanna make sure you see what I see. Hang on, I gotta shrink my screen a little bit down here so you can see it. Let's see, can you see it? Kind of. I might have to scooch it. So the new feature, so what you'll do when you're done is you'll, you can save link to clipboard, which it saves um, there. 
You can download image to your computer. There's a new download image whiz. Um, but the new on the Pro is the save to the GD is Google Drive, which I think is amazing because I'm so bad about just saving things to my desktop or saving it in my downloads folder and just like losing it or forgetting which ones I already uploaded. So this one saves it automatically to your Google Drive. Um, so this will pop up and the file name is there. It already, because I guess it recognized what I typed in my, on the shirt, right? And then I've already created a, a folder for make, make merch in my Google Drive. So let's write that on there. If I had any other info, you know, I did this in a video or whatever I want to put it on. Uh, try white or something, a any note I might want to give it. And then I select save. And it's going to save it straight into my folder in Google Drive. So I can access it from my phone. I can access it. So let's say I'm out at the coffee shop and I didn't have time to upload it here. I'm at my kids' piano lessons. Then I can grab my phone and upload straight from my phone, right? Um, uh, <laughs> um, actually, with the witch better have my money that there's a there's I, I don't know about the Rihanna song but there's something even before that well before that from a movie called I'm gonna get you sucker I don't know if you ever saw that movie but there's a guy in that movie called the fly guy and he's a pimp and <laughs> and it's funny that you mentioned that because I can quote the whole thing in in the movie he he's pimp of the year um <laughs> I know this is off topic. He ends up being Pimp of the Year, and there's like a whole like contest for Pimp of the Year. And he has a poem that he has written for the Pimp of the Year contest, and it is the bee better have my money, and it and it goes a little something like this: the bee better have my money through rain, sleet, or snow. The bee better have my cash, or I'll put my foot in her beep. Anyway. That's the short version, but all the, um, you know, he wins the Pimp of the Year contest. So, I don't know. I guess you could use that as, it's a play on words from that, from that. Okay, I already did this, so I was going to show you. Random. Okay, so these are the ones in my Make Merch Drive. Um, I'm going to refresh to show you that my new one has popped in there. Okay, or not. Oh, oh, I know why. Because this is my lowercase Make Merch Drive. I have my uppercase one. So here it is. C is for carnage. Yay, it's there. <laughs> um, I don't think you needed a history lesson. Well, it's not even a history lesson. Radio music, theater, whatever, film for uh, that movie. But it's a really funny movie. <laughs> anyway, you might be surprised. Um, yeah, that's probably where she got it because that's a pretty old movie. It's from... The 80s, I think, right? It has a lot of the Wayans brothers in it and people from Living Color and all that stuff. Anyway. Uh, um, so, okay. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Now, the Google Drive save thing is another huge time saver, which is another win for me as far as make merch goes because you can use your designs, you know, straight from your phone and upload um straight to merch from your phone when you're out and about. So that's super awesome. Um, if you guys have any, oh, you're born 1988, yeah. It might have been, it might have come out before that. <laughs> but if you have any questions, definitely, you know, go join those Facebook groups that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Um, the Make Merch group, follow me on Texas Gal Treasures because that's where I'll put out new when I put out new videos, if you sometimes the notifications have been being a little bit weird on on YouTube and people haven't been getting their um, notifications, so I'm trying to be better about uploading um, or posting, which I didn't do. Oh my gosh, look at me um, posting when I go live or when I put out a new video on Facebook. And then those two, my two favorite merch groups are Merch University and. Merch Minds over on Facebook. Um, yeah, and if you go join uh, Make Merch, one, I have a link down below, so please use my link. And two, you know, if you join over on Facebook, um, let Dan know that I sent you. 
So I like that, and I hope you would like that too. All right, again, go down there. I never did check to see how many friends we've got watching because I'll have a different screen up. But go over there and hit the thumbs up button. We've got 39 friends watching and 13 thumbs up right now. Um, so go over there and hit the thumbs up. And if you have any questions or if you'd like to see something else done in a tutorial, maybe something a little less macabre, um, leave me a comment down below and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks so much for coming to hang out, everybody. Ah, here we go again. There we go. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. I, merch talk is going to be back on Wednesday. So if you're interested, um, Wednesday, come talk merch with us. Full merch for an hour. Um, and jewelry stuff, Tuesday, Thursday, it's going to be jewelry. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for coming to hang out live, everybody. I'll talk to you then. Bye.